today is the 10th day of the 30 days Photoshop retouching challenge that I'm embarking on. And in today's video, we're going to learn how to smooth in skin once again. I'm going to take you through how I edited this image. I'm going to show you how I smoothed the skin, how I created the frequency separation and then used it to smooth in the skin. I'm also going to show you how I cleaned the background and then how I added some images to the background to make the image look good. And then also I'm going to show you how to import a previous color grade on a different document to um, your current document and then yeah a couple of stuff tips and tricks on how to get the perfect skin and then how to edit your images nicely in photoshop my name is Akodidia by the way and if you like tutorials like this kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like this video without further ado let's jump straight into photoshop and start editing So I have my image over here. Let me just zoom in so that I see how the image is looking. Let me just let's zoom in and inspect our image quickly. All right, let me zoom out now. So we're gonna first and foremost create a duplicate layer by pressing Control J to make a duplicate. So on this layer, we're gonna clean our image. We're gonna remove the pimples and then do a couple of stuff on it. It's just to prep the image for our next step. That is the figurine separation. So I'm gonna use Spot Healing Brush to, to do this. So I'm just going to zoom into my image and then just start brushing onto the spot or the places that I don't like on the image. So I'm just going to continue brushing like that to remove all this from my image. Always make sure the size of the spot healing brush tool is as big as the pimple or the spots that you are trying to remove. Yeah, don't make it too bigger than it or too smaller than it. It's just big enough to cover it up. Yeah, so I'm just going to go around the face and then just remove all the stuff from my face. I call this the basic cleanups, actually. Yeah. So you yeah, also make sure you are doing this on the layer one. The duplicates layer that we created of the background make sure you are doing it on it yeah so let me zoom out and let's go to other parts of my skin as say arm to see if there's anything that we have to remove there's nothing there let's go to the other arm as well yeah over here so there's nothing to really work on so um i think it's okay for now let's zoom out and then check the overall image as control zero to zoom out or to fit to screen. All right, so this is okay. Mm, I think the background doesn't have so many things to work on or to remove. So I'm just gonna leave the background layer like that. Then I'm gonna make another duplicate of the layer one, what we just created. So control J to make this duplicate. Then I'm gonna rename the first layer to that is layer one to color and layer one copy to texture if you don't know how to um, name a layer you just double click on the name not the layer you double click on the name yes and then you just name it if you double click on the layer it's going to give you a different um option there's another option that is going to pop up that is this the blend of layer styles that is not what we want right so you're going to make sure you double click on the name yeah so now we finish. So we're gonna hide the texture layer, select the color layer, come to filter, blur, select Gaussian blur, and then keep or change this at 4.0. Depending on the image that you're working on, 4.0 works perfectly on this image. So I'm just gonna maintain it. I'm gonna select OK. Then I'm gonna come to texture. I'm gonna make this visible. Then I'm gonna come to image, apply the image like this. Then I'm going to change the layers to color, RGB, the channel at RGB. I'm going to make sure invert is deselected. The blending, I'm going to select subtract. Opacity at 100, scale at 2, and then the offset at 128. Then I'm going to select OK. So as you can see, our image is looking like, um, it's looking gray. All right? When you see this, don't worry. It's part of the process. So we're going to. Select still with the texture layer selected. We're going to come to the blend mode and then change this to linear lights like this. As you can see, our image is back to how it was before. Always make sure you get the image exactly how it was when we started. 
if you get something else, a slight change, meaning there is a difference or there's some difference somewhere that you need to check. All right. So always make sure it's looking like that. All right. So uh, we're going to put this in a group. We're going to press control and then select the color layer and then control G to put this in a group. And I'm going to rename this as FS, meaning frequency separation. All right. So if you want this action played for you or done for you automatically, I have it in my digital store. You can just check it out. Link in the description box below. So let's proceed. So you select the color layer and I'm going to select the mixer brush too. And then these are the settings that you're going to use. Make sure this is on clean black. Sorry, clean brush. This is deselected. This is selected. And then you're going to set this to custom. And the weight at 40, load at 16, and then the mix at 31. And then the flow at 48%. And then this at 10%. All right, so now you're going to continue. And then let's start doing what we are supposed to do, right? So we're going to zoom into our image. I already start um, smoothing the face. Then I was going to decrease the brush size, zoom into her face, and then just start brushing. Like that. Make sure everything is looking fine when you're brushing like that. So you take your time and then brush, make sure everything is, is looking nice. So when you're brushing, make sure you maintain the brushing within the tones that you're brushing at. If it's the highlights, you make sure you brush only the highlights. If it's the mid-tones, make sure you're brushing only the mid-tones. Don't mix them up. All right, so now uh, let me just quickly speed this side up. I'm going to be back to you very soon. Control zero to zoom out. Uh, let's zoom in and try to um, clean the background a little bit. I'm just gonna brush gently, still with the color layer selected though. I'm just gonna brush to clean the background. All right, so at this point, I'm going to just whiten her teeth. I have an action for that, so I'm just going to play it over here. Then with the brush tool selected, I'm just going to paint over her teeth to whiten it up. So you're just going to brush onto the teeth and then just, yeah. Then after you're going to come to the eyes, then just brush like that to whiten it up. Then over here as well. Okay, so now I'm going to brighten it up a little bit. So I'm just going to open this and then I'm going to select the curves adjustment layer then i'm just gonna bring it up just a bit like that yes and i think this is okay for me so i'm just gonna control zero fit the screen then now i'm gonna create a selection around my image i'm around my subject so i'll come to select and then click on subject and i'm gonna select the subject only
All right, so let me zoom in and just check. I think it's okay. It's not perfect, but it's okay. So I'm just gonna select this, this column here, and then create a curves adjustment layer. So I'm gonna revert invert this by pressing Control and I. That is the layer mask over here. Then I'm gonna come to where my I have my um backgrounds at. Then I'm gonna pick a background for this. So um, I'm gonna use this once again, or actually I'm gonna use this. So I'm just gonna select it, drag it to Photoshop, and then just drop it like that. And I'm gonna scale it to fit our image. I'm gonna accept the change, then I'm gonna reduce the opacity like that. Then let me just increase the size a little bit more. Control T to bring up the transform tools. The transform handle, sorry. Let me increase, make it a little bit more bigger. Let's decrease it a little bit. Okay, select OK. Let me zoom in, fit to screen. I'm gonna select the layer mask over here. Press and hold Alt and then just drag it onto the curves adjustment layer that we just created. So then with the adjustment layer still selected, we're gonna select the brush tool and then press X to toggle between the the foreground color and then the background and foreground color. So we're gonna set the foreground color to black. Then I'm gonna paint on her feet like that. Yeah. Then I'm gonna reduce the opacity a little bit more. Like that, yeah. So, this is the effects we're having now, and it's okay for me, yeah. So, now let's color grade this. So, we have this image, just go back to your previous works and then just drag the color grading like that, and then just drag it and then drop it on the new one. And that's basically how to color grade your image using previous color graded um works All right so this is what we're having now on our image yeah let's add a little bit of light to it let's select and then create a new curves adjustment layer and then just drag it a little bit up like that to add some light to our image and this is how our final image is looking like so if you love if you, so if you love content like this kindly watch other videos over here on this channel and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your time see you guys in the next one tomorrow bye bye for now